How you doing, you scallywags? I'm going to uh, let you into a little bit of a trade secret here, um, because this is what we do. You know, we're all about sharing, helping each other out. Now, I'm uh, very busy right now building what I think is like a comprehensive um, training tool for tactics for the beginner and intermediate player. And uh, one of the areas that I'm struggling a little bit is um, is king forks. Uh, king forks are very rare. And I do have a bit of a collection of some examples. Um, but I came across a really, really handy little uh, tool or trick where chess.com will teach you, it will show you the exact positions um, where you've missed certain things. And it's available if you go to your profile, I think. And then now, <clears throat> insights, here we go, on the right hand side. Now, I don't, this is not available to everyone. I'm a diamond member on chess.com all paid up. So um, you may not have this, but if you are um, fully paid up, then, then you should. And insights is kind of interesting. There, there are some good things, you know. Uh, it shows me when I've played the most games. Interesting. Over time, played more in the last year than ever before. Shows me my accuracy over time, which really hasn't changed much. I sucked a couple of months there. I went down to 62, 63 accuracy, but now. This is an interesting one as well. <clears throat> I tend to be very accurate um, at the start of the game, but move kind of, you know, seven to, and the, all the middle game, less accurate. But I would imagine that everyone's more like this. I mean, in the end games, you'll very often end up with uh, fewer ideas. Anyway, we're getting around to that. Relax, don't worry, we're getting there. Uh, results by opponent rating. So apparently I should concentrate on 21 to 2300s. That's, uh, that's a happy hunting ground for me because I've got a 30% win rate there. And I'll get uh, all, the, all the marbles for that one. And then there's a load of blah, 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 blah. Right, game shapes, I don't really think much of this. Accuracy, blah, 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 blah. When did games end? All right, now, here's the bit. Here's the bit. Pay attention now. Okay, so, found versus missed forks. Okay, so here, we, here we're getting into tactics. So you've got mates here, right? Now, on the principle of uh, the Gromit method, where you go back over your previous games and analyze your mistakes so that you don't make them again, um, this is this is great for that. So, for example, King Forks, okay, 10. There are 10 King Forks in my entire history on chessy.com. So, here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to command or control click on all of these, okay? Four more, please. Thank you very much. Right? And guess what? It's taking me to the exact position in each one. So here, so sometimes I will find, sometimes I will not find, you know? So here, I don't know, this is, I'm um, 1300, I don't even know when this is, what well, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, so this is a king fork because I'm, I'm forking both pieces, yeah? So what I'm gonna do, I'll click on analysis, click back and move. Okay, so king c3 or king b3 is the right move. Now anything else is just, is losing. King c3 or king b3 is fine. Now, for the purposes of my woody um, training tools, um, I don't think that <clears throat> here, because there are two equally good moves, that's not really instructive. So I'm just going to close that one, okay? Here's another one, right? So here, I took the pawn, but actually king c6 is the best move by far. Now, white is winning here, but that's not the point. King c6 is a far better move with a king fork. So what I do is, I'm going to show you what I do. I've already shared this in a video, right? I go back a move, I grab the fen. I go to my woody, right? Okay, so go king forks, I'm gonna add another chapter. Now I may only have, um, paste the fen in here. I may not, there we go. So this is actually from Black's perspective. So we'll just change that. Notice it's interactive lesson, this is important. Okay, so what they, they did this move, okay? And the, the correct move here is this, right? 
and I can even add things, you know? And that's it, King Forks, I now have two. Brilliant. Let's go back. This is the one we just saw, so that's good. Got it, you see? So all the King Forks that I found or I've missed, or stuff like that, um, this is good. Okay, so let's again click on analysis, just check that it is the only good move, and it is. This is the only winning move for white. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so go back a move because we want to show your opponent's previous move. Okay, copy the fan, add a new chapter, paste it in, la di da. Okay, wrong color again, doesn't matter. You'll see. And so, actually, weirdly, you can also turn on Stockfish if you're making your own, yeah? Um, black is actually ahead in material, but there we go, two attacks, perfect. Right, that's it. Okay, let's go back. That's the one. Next one here. King. Okay, so black, they do this, and now, let's click analysis again, just check it. King c6 is the best move. G6 is a close second, but it's a king fork thing. So, right, so I'm gonna grab it. It's perfectly good. It, it, it is the best move, so it's valid. Go back in again, add a new chapter and so on, right? And I got the wrong color again, some reason, right? So uh, he's in check, he moves here, and this is it again. Right, so kings can fork. I'm also looking for good ones where a king can fork like a rook and a bishop if they're next to each other and stuff like that as well. So I'm, I'd like to get one of those, please. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, so here's another, and click analysis. Bishop takes here. Uh, we are actually completely winning here as black, and pretty obvious, you know, the king can go there. So, perfect, let's grab. So you're just watching me here build a product. This is great, and I'm pretty sure, should we go black? Ah, oh, correct, okay. And there, there again, you see, you can't, you can't save both. And now we have five. So the point is though, that we get to drill this over and over again, right? Um, okay, so we can close that one. Is the next one. Okay, nice. And we are white. Right. Very, very quick to do this. Very, very quick. And there we go. That and Clear best move, only only best move. Good attack, excellent stuff. Okay, shut that, that's the one we've just done. Okay, and here again, and we are black. Really, really quick and easy. So why don't you do this? You know, go through all of your, all of your missed um, tactics of, of each particular type. Okay, add new chapter. What did we say? Black, was it? Yeah. Okay, so he gives check. And king e6, yeah, is the best move. Brilliant. Yeah. And the point of this is not that these are difficult puzzles. They aren't. The point of this is, have you missed them in the past? Okay, so here we've got another one. We are white, right? And if you've missed them before, or even if you found them, nothing wrong with drilling, drilling, drilling. Okay, white, da, la, 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 la. He comes here, we go king c4, clearly the best move, brilliant. You know, there we go. And that's that one, and one for the road. Okay, let's just check on, on the analysis here. That's a blunder. Um, yeah, king takes his, his best, so interesting stuff. Here, so this is, we are black. We grab the fen. So the fen des describes the position at this point in time. It has no record of what's gone in the game previously, other than it tells you, you know, what 
whether you know who can castle, which sides they can castle, any on pass on opportunities and stuff like that. Uh, can't remember what color were we. Okay, we were black on this one, so let's change it to black. And now, all of a sudden, I have eight more. Um, oops. No, so I, what I have to do is promote that one and delete that one, and then king here. And yeah, yeah, we're attacking too, but that's not the point. Okay, and now I have ten. Now I have nine. Uh, so there you go. And and you can go through go through all of these. And what if if you've got access to that pawn forks? There's 326 here. I can look at just the missed ones if if I wish. Right here, filter on missed. Perfect. Right. Go over. What have you? Where are your mistakes? And this is just such a great way to boil all of that down into one place. So there you go. I'm going to work through all of these, and I'm going to fill up my so 100 missed pawn forks there. Right. That on itself is a fantastic study. Yeah, so there you go. Hope that's useful for you. If you want to build your own study tools, you're welcome. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.